Hey everybody, this is Peter for the Arizona Cardinal NFL Rumors. I'm a diehard Arizona Cardinal fan. I made a video, last video, about Kyler Murray and Antonio Brown. And, you know, I'm a big fantasy player also. And, you know, I haven't made some fantasy videos in a while because I really wanted to speak about the NFL right now. And just regular football, no fantasy. Let's talk about Kyler Murray and let's talk about Antonio Brown. My video that I made last time was praying for Kyler Murray and Antonio Brown because I'm a diehard Antonio Brown fan also. And now I'm not, right? Like, I love the guy. I think he's great. But the way he's going about this right now is just, it turns you off because it's just, he's Mariah Carey right now. And it's becoming such a diva and such a woman in this situation that I'm not even sure why. You know, I, I'm not sure where this has happened and what's happened to him. It speaks for why Roethlisberger felt the way he felt. If he, if he's doing this outside, you can only imagine what he does in the locker room. And I wanted him. I still want him. I wish he changed and the, the Cardinals go after him. But after Larry came out and said what he said about um, Antonio Brown, and Larry never really goes public with anything and saying that he really doesn't appreciate what he has. And in that sense, he doesn't understand. You kind of knew what they were going to do. They're not going to go after him, and it sucks. The reason I'm saying that is we need a number one receiver. The Cardinals need a number one receiver. And Antonio Brown was the guy. But now, since we're not getting him, the importance of getting Kyler Murray is even more. Right? I, I said this before. You're going to get a guy like Kingsbury. So I really like the, I like the chance. You know, it does. what's the worst that can happen? You won three games last year doesn't matter right what's the worst that can happen zero games all right fine it's not gonna happen that way but who cares you know it's not gonna be like this huge difference it's not like you're getting rid of a guy like Belichick and you're taking a chance with this young kid you're getting rid of a guy who really was more of a defensive coordinator so let's talk why we need Kyler Murray and then I'll talk about the wide receiver situation Kyler Murray makes everybody better on the field he makes the offense better and he makes the defense better and then I'll explain in a little bit his legs make up for a lot of mistakes. It makes up for a bad offensive line. It makes up for broken plays. It just makes up for anything. And with a guy like Kingsbury, you don't keep a guy like Rosen. Rosen is a guy who needs an offensive line. He needs good receivers. And he's got a really great arm. He's got some great accuracy, but he's not the guy for the Cardinals. We don't have great receivers. Besides Larry, and he's getting older, there is no great receiver on that team. Christian Kirk goes deep. Big Big deal. We don't have enough time to throw the ball deep. You know, it, it's not going to work. You know, David Johnson, wonderful running back. He'll be Todd Gurley type numbers if we get Kyler Murray. The way Kingsbury draws up the offense, he's going to run for a touchdown. He's going to catch for maybe another touchdown. And he's going to run for probably 120 yards and catch for 100 yards. That's what's going to happen to David Johnson if you get Kyler Murray with this offense. If you keep Rosen, it's not going to work. You know, maybe some games you'll say, wow, but it won't be enough. So that's why you need Kyler Murray. And what that does is makes the defense, who we have a really great defense. Don't let anything fool you. When you're always three and out on offense or throwing interceptions and giving the team the ball on our own 30, that's the problem. It looks bad. So many times the Cardinals last year stopped them when they had some amazing field position in the competition. And that was because of guys like Chandler Jones and because of guys like Patrick Peters. You have Kyler Murray on the team, the offense stays out there more, we put up more points, everything changes. I wanted to talk about wide receiving here because I don't see anybody besides Antonio Brown. And I'm going to go over some free agent wide receivers with you guys and it's there's no superstar in there. And I think if unless we trade for somebody or we're going to go draft anybody and I think we'll probably draft a guy like Nikhil Harry if he doesn't go early. but. I don't see any superstar wide receiver coming soon, or at least a number one, right? We don't need a superstar. We need a number one receiver. We need somebody who can draw their best cornerback. We need a guy like that. So let's go over some wide receivers, and we'll talk about it. Golden Tate, good ball player. Definitely will do well in Arizona. I don't see him being the guy. I don't even see us going after him, but that's one. Michael Crabtree, I feel like the Cardinals may go after him. Big guy, talented, you know. I just don't, he's getting a little bit older. I don't feel that he's going to be that guy, but I can see Arizona going after, you know. He's used to, he's, he played on the West Coast before. I can see Arizona going after a guy like that and what they would see 
trying to catch, you know, like a couple of years ago when he when he had one of his best years. Who I like is like a guy like Terrell Williams. Terrell Williams can do both. He can go deep, he can go up the middle. Somebody who probably would flourish with a team with a guy like Kingsbury. And then you got a couple other smaller guys like a guy like Randall Cobb and then a guy like Crowder. Like I, Those are guys who I like also because with that offensive line, you don't have enough time for guys to go deep. You have to get guys right off the line. You have to get guys who run the routes really well. And guys like Tate, guys like Cobb and Crowder, they run their route pretty well and they go right up the middle. So maybe, so if the line breaks down and Murray doesn't, if we do go with Murray, Murray runs, he's going to get past the blitz and things will open up. So you can't wait for a big receiver to get downfield. But I'm looking for a more of a star receiver. I'm not sure who we're going to get. I'm not sure if we're going to trade for somebody. There's a lot of options out there. You know, if we do trade Rosen, I don't think we're going to get a huge haul for him anyway. I think second round pick, third round pick maybe, and maybe like a, a ready receiver or ready tight end. I just don't see it. I don't see what's going to happen. All I know is we're right now in that crossroads. We have the potential if we draft Murray to win 9 to 10 games next year and have a amazing 12 to 13 years of football. Maybe I exaggerated with 12 years, but at least like 8 to 10 years of successful football in Arizona. And by getting Murray, you're bringing football relevant back in Arizona. Everybody's talking about it. It's such a huge thing. If you stay with Rosen, you're winning six to seven games, and it's just not going to be enough. You know, it's not. You have to just start over, get Murray, stay with Murray and David Johnson, and work for, with those two. Keep Patrick Peterson and Chandler Jones, and build around those guys. Build around the Christian Kirks. Get Nikhil Harry. Build around those guys. Get yourself a couple of offensive linemen, and wait to get a good receiver, and all of a sudden... You have an amazing team in Arizona. Right now, you have a good quarterback in Rosen who has great accuracy, but is an arrogant man. He's just not likable. He's not the guy. He's just not the guy. It's like Jay Cutler, you know? It's You, you look at him, you go, wow, that was pretty impressive. And then the next drive, you're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. You know, and then off the field, when they're talking to him, nothing's his fault. He just has this arrogance about him where... You don't like him. You know, I can't imagine his teammates loving him neither. You know, he's talented for sure. But I go for a guy. When you get a guy like Kingsbury, you go for a guy like Murray. Because Kingsbury's offense is four guys like Murray. Four guys like David Johnson. So you put those two together and you have an explosive team. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys think of any wide receivers you you want us to go after and we can talk about it. I'm also going to talk MLBs coming up, you know, drafting and everything like that, which I love. Baseball's my favorite sport. I'm going to talk about that also. So let me know what you guys think. Take care. Let's hope for Kyler Murray. All right, guys.